Hello my friends, today we are going to the fast apple farms in the United States to see how the process of cultivating and harvesting billions of apples each year happens. In the United States, apples are mainly grown in Washington State and the best varieties include Red Delicious, Granny Smith, Golden Delicious and Fuji. Here's what's going on at a seedling farm in Washington. This woman is preparing thousands of apple tree trunks for the nursery process. These apple trees will then be planted and cared for here for two months before they are transferred to the official farms. Every year at this incubator, about 400 workers come to work in different stages. Most of them are immigrants from Mexico and Venezuela. These farm workers work hard in quite hot and dusty weather conditions. The average salary they receive is about $90 per day. After about two months, millions of apple trees will be moved to new farms and start a new life. On this farm, workers will plant about 670 apple trees per acre, with a distance of 4 feet between the trees. Currently, there are about 1,460 apple farms in Washington. The apple farms here have a minimum area of 100 acres. There are a few farms with more than 5,000 acres though. Most apple varieties grown in Washington today take three to four years to reach their first harvest. In addition to Washington, New York, Michigan and Pennsylvania are also states that grow many apples in the United States. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, in 2021, there are 177,000 acres of farmland in Washington that is used to grow apples. Meanwhile, apple acreage in New York is about 53,000 acres and in Pennsylvania, it is 21,000 acres. In Washington, apples are grown mostly in the Wenatachee, Lake Shilin and Yakima Valley areas. In particular, the Yakima Valley area alone has more than 57,000 acres of land used to grow apples. These are apple trees that are over a year old. At this stage, the farmer's job is mainly to prune, clean up weeds and provide enough water for them to grow. When winter comes, thousands of workers will be hired here to prune apple trees. This is one of the very important jobs for orchards. Winter pruning helps keep the shape of the apple trees uniform, and not a single spot of the tree is deprived of light as the budding process takes place. In early spring, when young shoots appear, a probiotic will be sprayed on to protect the young shoots from attacks by insects and aphids. When the flowers appear, honeybee suppliers will be hired to bring the bees here to pollinate. According to the information we have learned, the price that these ranchers pay for each of these crates of bees will range from $65 to $120. On average, each acre of apple land requires about 14,000 bees to work during the blooming season. The time from pollination to apple harvest lasts about 145 days. Apples are very susceptible to rot during storage and transportation. Therefore, two weeks before the harvest takes place, the apple farms here will be sprayed with a probiotic that helps prevent middle rot.
everything here is ready to start a new harvest season. Would you like to visit one of these apple farms and hand pick the apples yourself? Every year in mid-August, thousands of workers flock to Washington's green farms to pick apples. Most of them are immigrants from Mexico, Venezuela and Guatemala. The majority of farm workers in the United States are illegal immigrants. They are looking for ways to get into the United States and find work. At its peak, apple farms in Washington have more than 40,000 workers employed to harvest apples. These workers will pick millions of apples and fill these crates. And for each crate filled with apples, they would receive between $45 and $55. According to statistics, in 2021, the number of apples harvested in Washington was about 6.76 billion pounds. In New York, it was 1.37 billion pounds. And in Pennsylvania, it was about 656 million pounds. According to estimates by the United States Department of Agriculture, between 11.3 and 12 billion apples are picked each year across the country. In recent years, China has always been the largest apple producer in the world, with about 97 billion pounds, ranked second by the European Union at 25.7 billion pounds, and then the United States ranks third, with 9.9 .9 billion pounds. After harvesting, billions of apples here will be transported to the factory for packaging or juice production. Here's what's going on at an apple packing plant in Washington. Before packing, these apples will be washed and disinfected. Currently, about 25.9% of fresh US apples are exported to other countries. The countries of Asia and the Middle East are often destinations for US apples. This is the apple juice production process. Have you ever drunk apple juice? Let us know what you think about this drink. In the next part of the video, we will go to a seedless grape farm in California to see how thousands of tons of raisins are produced. Have you ever eaten California raisins? Let us know how you feel about the taste. Natural seedless raisins are some of the most popular raisins on the market today. In fact, they account for nearly all of the raisins produced in California. Between January and February is the time when viticulture takes place across the Californian farms. These workers will proceed to dig thousands of holes in preparation to welcome the new vines. After the planting hole is completed, thousands of vines will be moved to this farm to start a new life. These workers will plant about 950 vines per acre and each vine is planted about three feet apart. In California, raisin farms are mainly concentrated in the San Joaquin Valley. In 2020, 
California's raisin acreage is about 147,000 acres and requires more than 5,000 workers to do the work. After about five weeks from planting, these vines will be pruned and fixed to the pole so that they can grow vertically. At this stage, great farm workers typically earn between eight and $13 per hour. Most raisins in California need about three years to get the first harvest. Currently, about 23% of California's vineyards are used to produce raisins. In particular, Thompson Seedless is the main seedless grape variety grown. When winter comes, these workers will conduct pruning at the grape farm. The purpose of pruning is to guide the vine to grow in a particular direction in the spring. Only highly skilled grape growers are hired to do this work. May is the time to bear fruit on most California grape farms and the grapes take about 70 days to reach harvest. At this stage, about 25% of the grapes will be removed to maintain a reasonable fruit density and ensure the best quality at harvest. And this is what they got after about three years of waiting. Do you feel satisfied when you see these images? September every year is usually when the raisin harvest takes place. The dry and hot weather conditions at this stage are perfect for drying billions of grapes. Billions of grapes will be picked and sun dried on this farm for three weeks. It's about 95 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. It's really harsh working conditions for these farm workers. These are the billions of grapes after three weeks of being exposed to the sun. The workers will collect and transfer thousands of tons of raisins to the factory for processing and packaging. In recent years, raisin production in California has generally ranged from 350,000 to 380,000 tons accounting for 96% of the country's raisin production. Currently, Turkey is the country with the largest raisin production in the world, followed by the United States, Iran and Greece. This is what happens at a raisin processing plant. Here, tons of raisins will be washed and dried before packaging.
in the next part of the video, we will go to the table grape farms in California to see how the process of harvesting thousands of tons of grapes happens.